Hey everyone, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. Last week we touched on the um, Veeam Zip option where if you wanted to take a full, an active full copy of your virtual machines and you wanted to export them out as a compressed and encrypted backup file and then you can move that around and take advantage of all the all the Veeam portability that we have. Um, what we're going to do this time in the in the two minute window, and I think I hit it last week, so um, is we're actually going to be looking at what happens if you just wanted to take a quick incremental of a virtual machine, just to and add that incremental on within the same backup window that you already have configured. Maybe it's a seven day um, backup job. And on day one, we're taking that first full backup. And then thereafter, we're taking incrementals. Let's say, for example, something happened, Windows update, application update, etc. And we wanted to take a, an incremental backup of that. But we wanted it to be in line with all of our other our backup retention policy that we have for that, that virtual machine. So simply put, navigate within your inventory. And let's start the clock. I've probably gone over already. But... Um, uh, start the clock and if you come in here you've got some options when you right click on that machine the veeam zip that i touched on you've got the quick migration and all the other stuff and maybe that's another another area that we that we absolutely go into on another one of these but you've got this option of well quick backup so if we select that that literally comes back and says uh queued for 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 backup but i'm already running this so let's jump back into home you can see here uh We've picked up the job, so VMware Backup Web Server, because that's what this CentOS box is that we right-clicked. And then what this is going to do is it's going to run through and just create an incremental. So you're just going to see another VIB appear within the backup repository and another restore point so that you can roll back to that point if anything caused you a failure scenario of which then means that you have to get back to that. So really quite powerful in terms of ad hoc being able to just come in here take that that incremental backup so it won't take very long at all to pick up all the changes since the last backup um using change block tracking to understand what has changed it's not a full backup like the like the one with the veeam zip and potentially pushing that to a different location because that offers that portability option this is going to just add an additional restore point at a specific point in time for your incremental backups already in the chain. See you on the next one.